Hi, I'm Jade and welcome to Biological Sciences. We're gonna go through a tour through some of our teaching spaces. Over here we have some of our display cabinets. So while you're waiting for your prep classes to start, you get to have a look at all of this. If you're a keen botanist, you'll love this display and it's got some really interesting plants in it, including a coniferous plant and our bromeliad is actually flowering at the moment, which is really cool. As we go along here, we have a few different themes in our tanks. Uh, we do have a lot of experiments going on with uh, reptiles and on display here we have some Australian native monitors and they're out at the moment basking. And so come and have a look at those. Along here, we have some fish. Now often a lot of our researchers do observational experiments on animals and a lot of these guys go out to their observational experiments and then they come back in here and live the rest of their lives. And we also have a really cool large frog, tree frog, who thinks he's being fed right now because he's looking at me. And come and say hi to him as well. As we move along, we have a frog tank. This particular frog tank I really love. It was specifically built uh, for the brown tree frogs and there are some researchers doing a lot of interesting work on temperature control and breeding with these guys. And once they're finished with those experiments, the frogs get to live out their life in here. And at the moment we have 10 brown tree frogs in here. So when you're waiting for your prep classes to begin, see how many you can find. There's one on the glass at the moment. And moving along, this is one of another, this is our last display, and it is a mangrove environment. So these species that you see in here will be typical of what you would see underwater in a mangrove setting up in Queensland. And again, we do a lot of fish work at the facility, and this is an example of some of the Australian natives that we have on display here. So these two particular fish here, this one and this one, have been in the department for only 10 years. They've been in and out of observational experiments over that time and then they get to come back in here after, after they're finished. And also the frog up there, he's over 10 years old as well, so he is part of the building just about. <laughs> Hi, I'm Professor Richard Rayner and I'm the Director of Education in the School of Biological Sciences. And we thought it would be interesting for you to have a bit of a tour through our teaching spaces. So we're up here in the second and third year biology teaching labs. Come with me, we'll just have a little bit of a walk through. This is the space that you would come to do labs in many of our biology units. And we have it set up so that if you look down the lab here, we have benches um, where you would come in usually once a week to do a two to three hour prac session. And um, some of those will be working in small groups some you'd be doing some work on your own and some of them will be in large groups, say a whole bench doing something together. And we've set it up here, as you see, with all the computer gear, um, which means that at each bench here, for example, we have this camera which would go on the top of the microscope and the image can be displayed on the screen or we can use the screen to play videos and so on. And using the computer technology, we've got a lot of digital sensors as well that we can connect up to run some live experiments such as some experiments we do on, on um, activity and how that changes your circulation and how that changes the use of oxygen within the body and so on, as well as a lot of other different type lab-based bench type experiments, if you know what I mean. So um, in the lab, we'll have everyone here in the benches, working away, following in, through the lab manuals, making notes for yourself, recording things on your phones for, for study, etc and we set them up at the beginning of each prep, which is why you see the benches are kind of empty at the moment. And if you look over here on the other side, um, here we've got some of our microscopes. We bring them out when we need them on a couple of different kinds. But you see there's also quite a lot of display material. So up at the end here, you've probably never seen an elephant leg before. But this is one of the things that's almost impossible to get now that universities have for a long, long time. This is the front leg of an elephant. And we use that and a lot of these other skeletons that are down the sides here to kind of explain and illustrate the principles of locomotion in animals and how things like limb length and so on relate to the way in which different animals move. And then we have a lot of different skulls. So for example, we can compare the skull of a puma here and its teeth with, well, here's a warthog, but let's say um, the skull of a horse 
and the structure of its teeth and how that's different and what it tells you about how the horse feeds and what it eats and so on. So coming down the lab, um, we have these various displays here and we'll bring them out at different times so that you can learn those things about animals. We have another section of the lab which focuses much more on plants. But by using these materials, it's about illustrating the concepts that we teach in the practice themselves. There are whiteboards here that, that we can use, but there, there are project projectors throughout the lab. So we can share images from any screen um, to the whiteboards or to the individual computers. So it's really about using the best of that technology to make it easier to understand and learn what's going on. Um, just coming down towards the end here, one thing I always like to show people is our horse skeleton. Again, it's kind of hard to get these things now, but it's a really useful way to learn. And that's kind of really what we focus on in teaching within biological sciences is as much as possible. We want to use hands-on approaches. Now in some disciplines, that hands-on approach is actually more of a modeling approach we might be using the computer. Or in the other, zoology for example, that we've talked about before looking at how the horse skeleton is assembled tells us a lot about how that animal moves and why it's evolved in the direction that it has as, a, as an adaptation to the sort of lifestyle that a horse lives. So as I mentioned each week you come and spend a few hours here in this lab. Many of our labs will have some assessment attached to them which might be a prac report in some form of answering questions. Um, and others involve project work that might go over a longer term. Um, down at our Jock Marshall Reserve, for example, we do a lot of outdoor experiments that might run over a period of, of several weeks. But we put a lot of focus on practical learning in biological sciences so that we try to give you the skills that are really relevant when you go into the workplace um, and really complement what we learn in lectures and tutorials and workshops and so on with what we do in practice sessions. So that gives you a quick overview of the lab. Of course, there's no one here at the moment um, for all the reasons that you're aware. But when labs are happening, they're really dynamic places. There's always a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of interaction between the students. We have the academic staff and, and teaching assistants in here to help students out, um, to answer questions, to guide you along, and make sure you get the best out of the practice. So we have static displays and preserves animals and skeletons and so on, but we also have some live displays. So this is our marine touch tank. And you see we have a variety of animals of different kinds in here. Like this really cute little starfish. So we use that to illustrate some principles of structure and function in animals, in live animals. And so we've come down to the first year teaching lab because I wanted to show you where you'd come when you first start new uh, You can see the way that this room is laid out. This is the, the large lab that we have all of our first year students come through and we've kind of divided it up so at the moment we've opened up a couple of partitions so you can see a bit more easily but we fit 96 students in here and we close it up with these dividers so that the noise is a bit more manageable and you work in sort of smaller groups of 16. So the arrangement that we have down here is kind of similar to the one you saw when we were upstairs in the second and third year labs that um, we have these benches set up and you would come and run the, do the lab in here um, at the same time in each session and you would sit at the same bench so you get to know your bench mates and that's a really good way to get to know some people at uni and uh, sometimes again you work in just a pair or individually sometimes the whole bench works together doing a range of different experiments but that's all about sort of the fundamental and um, enabling skills that you need to carry on into second and third year biology and genetics that we cover in this first session. And we have demonstrators, so the teaching assistants will be here sort of looking after one section here, so that's would be 16 students. Uh, you have the same person each time, so you get to know each other, just like you get to know your bench mates. Uh, and we develop these practices to lead into the more complex ones in second and third. So lastly, I wanted to show you our genetics teaching labs. So we're in a different building, but you can see the arrangement here is kind of similar. And we have students working in groups, sometimes in pairs, sometimes a larger group, using a range of different genetic techniques, um, very much focusing on what's contemporary in terms of techniques for um, DNA sequencing and the, the sorts of experiments that we do, including genomics and bioinformatics and 
similar approaches that are important in the modern world. So in our genetics laboratories here, um, if you're studying biomedical sciences, you might also spend some time in this lab because quite a few of those biomedical science students take our genetics units as part of their major. And um, in this lab, it's slightly different to the lab that you saw before. Rather than having specimens, the focus here is more on the technology that we're using to undertake those sorts of experiments. Um, coming here again about once a week for a two to three hour lab uh, is generally the way that you would learn and um, a lot of these labs will then have some form of prac report or something similar associated with them.